Hi there. So in this video, we are going to talk about RAS. And RAS is an extremely important gene protein that controls uh, the proliferation of many human cells. It is commonly mutated in many human cancers. Uh, scientists are trying to figure out if they can uh, design drugs that target RAS to help um, stop cancer cells from growing. So RAS is a central player in this pathway here. And so we're gonna have a number of videos on RAS because RAS is actually a very complicated protein. It's very complicated uh, in its uh, regulation, in its mutations. So we're gonna have a number of videos on RAS, but we'll take it piece by piece um, and break it down into how RAS is regulated and how it is mutated in human cancers. All right, so I've drawn a plasma membrane here and I have drawn the RAS protein. And I've got this little squiggle on it. So what is that squiggle? Well, um, before I get to the squiggle, I need to tell you some uh, uh, facts about RAS. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the general RAS protein. There are in fact many different versions of RAS. There's KRAS, NRAS, HRAS. These are all more or less the uh, similar protein. There are different versions of it. So this is the RAS family. Some of these versions of RAS are expressed in one cell type, some are expressed in another cell type. And we're not gonna get into which cells have which express which RAS. In general, they more or less work the same. They're more or less regulated the same. So we're gonna talk about in generalities about RAS. But when you're reading papers and you see KRAS or NRAS or HRAS, it's just this protein called RAS. So um, I've drawn RAS uh, in the plasma membrane because RAS plays a role in transmitting information from outside the cells, right, where receptors are picking up signals, to inside the cell, into the cytosol. And the reason RAS is able to be able to do this is that RAS is tethered to the um, plasma membrane. Now, it's tethered to the uh, cytoplasmic uh, side of the plasma membrane by a lipid. Um, so RAS is a protein, but it is covalently conjugated to lipids. And there are all sorts of different lipids that RAS could be conjugated to, and we're not going to get go down that path uh, because it's quite complicated lipid biology, but it's very interesting. But we're not going to talk about that. But just know that RAS is a protein, and it lives uh, on the cytoplasmic side of the plasma membrane tethered to the membrane by the insertion of this lipid tail that is covalently attached to the protein and stuck in the plasma membrane. So that's one thing to know about RAS. It lives in the plasma membrane, right? Pointed in the, to the cytoplasmic part. The other thing to know about RAS is it binds nucleotides. So you know what a nucleotide is. Nucleotides, uh, you know, they make a DNA, they make up RNA, ATP is in a nucle is a nucleotide. Um, so we've got two nucleotides here, a GDP and a GTP. So hopefully you know what those are, right? So GDP, guanine diphosphate, two phosphates, and GTP, guanine triphosphate, right? So um, RAS can be bound with either one of these nucleotides. So it has a binding pocket, and that pocket fits GDP or GTP. Can't bind both at the same time. Binds one, binds one, or binds the other. So that's something else to know about RAS. It is a uh, protein that binds uh, GTP or GDP. And maybe you've heard of G proteins, right? So um, what are G proteins? Right, G proteins are proteins that uh, have these interactions with guanine nucleotides. Okay, so uh, what else do we need to know about RAS? Well, RAS can get converted to from binding GDP to GTP. So we can go, it can switch one phase to the other, right? And so the thing to know about these different phases uh, or states of RAS is the GTP bound RAS is actually the pro-growth version. And by pro-growth, I mean when RAS is bound to GTP, it will send signals into the cytoplasm of the cell. These are pro-growth signals. They're going to get the cell to go through the cell cycle from G1 to S phase. RAS can also go back to being bound to G, 
DP. And we're gonna cover this extensively in later videos, how it goes back to this phase, which is really the sort of off version of RAS. So you could think of RAS as like a switch, on and off, it's very binary. It's either bound to GTP and stimulating growth, or it's bound to GDP and not stimulating growth. And so the important thing to know here is that in many human cancer cells, RAS is stuck in this on or pro-growth position. It is stuck with GTP. So for us to understand why it gets stuck with GTP, we really have to go into detail and in how RAS is regulated. How does it switch back and forth from bounding one, bounding GDP to GTP? And how does it go back and forth? So uh, that is going to be a subject of at least two more videos in this series. So, but I'm gonna stop this video now just um, because it's gonna get long. The explanation of uh, regulating RAS and its G, uh, TP or DP bound state, state is pretty complicated. So I'm just gonna stop the video here. And again, the takeaway here is this protein RAS um, tethered to the plasma membrane via a lipid and bound to a nucleotide. Um, and this is actually a very important signaling molecule to tell the cell to go through the cell cycle. So we're gonna see how this is regulated in later videos.